you're sat in the changing rooms five minutes before kickoff, and the fans start stamping their feet and you can feel the whole stand shaking and the atmosphere is incredible. We're here today for a photo shoot, obviously with Chester Barry. It's a really enjoyable day, very different to our usual day-to-day -day activities. Certainly hair and makeup's a fairly novel concept. I love it, very comfortable. It's just what you need after the game. One thing that got me straight away was coming to the club and finding out it uh, started in 1880. The contrast between the modern facilities mixed with the traditional stand. It's the, the only remaining stand that hasn't been developed or redeveloped, um, and that is where I see you know, the die-hard fans. Rugby has a lot of history and traditions, and one of them is to make sure that after the game you're looking representable. Best dressed player in the club? It is not Greg Bateman. Uh, best dressed at the club would probably be uh, Ellis Genge. He does well because his, his face doesn't look that good, so he has to make up for it elsewhere. Probably myself. <laughs> Maybe even Tom Croft, actually, because often he's normally in a Chester Barry suit on game day. 